Hi everybody, welcome back to 100% Max. So this is my match review for the game against Everton today. At St James Park, of course it ended Everton 2-1 against Newcastle. And what can I say about the match? You know, looking at the Premier League table, we're now sit 11th in the Premier League. Level points with Everton who moved up into 10th place, stealing our spot. And you know, looking at this game tonight, the referee and the VAR and the fourth official and the linesman, the whole lot of them ought to be absolutely ashamed with themselves with the way that they went on in this game. You know, the amount of errors that was made by Lee Mason and his assistant staff. You know, they made so many errors in this game tonight. It's an absolute joke. Uh, Craig Pawson on VAR, you know, he never seemed to at all look at anything for Newcastle. There was five penalty shouts in this game for Newcastle. Three of them absolute stonewall penalties. One of them in the first half, of course, for Miguel Almirin. It was only about a minute into the game. And Almirin, you know, was taken down through one-on-one. -on -one. All he needed to do was put the ball in the back of the net past Pickford. You know, and he got tucked down from behind, pulling on the shirt from Michael Keane. And, you know, nothing given, not even a penalty. Uh, you know, and that's something that is absolutely beyond a joke for the way he got taken down in the box. Michael Keane was the last man as well when he took him down in the box. That should have been a penalty and a red card for Michael Keane. You know, in Everton should have been 10 men down uh, within the first minute of the game. And, you know, from that moment on, it looked like... You know, this was going to be another one of them games where the referee just doesn't seem to go down in the middle at all. And, you know, I was writing that assumption that it was going to be like that kind of game because that is exactly what it was. You know, Lee Mason never seemed to at all uh, play the game down the middle. He was all for Everton. You know, Everton were jumping up. They were elbowing Newcastle's players. They were elbowing Andy Carroll multiple amounts of times. You know, Carroll was shouting, like, come on, what what have I got to do here, you know? It was that many amount of times that he was getting elbowed, it was getting beyond a joke. And then, of course, you know, 13th minute, Everton take the lead against the runner play. You know, something that you didn't really expect Everton to be getting in the lead at that point because Newcastle were doing really well in the game, even though the referee was doing quite a few dodgy decisions. You know, and we should have probably took the lead through Almirin if he hadn't have been taken down by Keane. Uh, and of course then that penalty decision which should have been. Uh, and Everton took the lead, 13th minute, Calvert-Lewin goal. Uh, you know, and Everton just didn't deserve to be in the lead at that point. And then, you know, Newcastle had multiple chances to get back into it, level it up. You know, Andy Carroll scored. He was classed as offside, which if you look on the replay, fair enough, you know, he was in an offside position. Uh, but, you know, we're going at half-time. We're 1-0 down. Evan will come out for the second half. You know, it never seemed to change at all. Uh, Newcastle was absolutely dominating before we went in at half-time. Uh, we'll come out for the second half. It never seemed to change. You know, Newcastle were doing pretty well. Everton started to get themselves a little bit of a foothold back in the game again. You know, and then there was more cheating again by Everton. Diving to the ground by Richardson. Uh, you know, and then there was a little bit of a scuffle between uh, Joe Linton and Holgate. Of course, Holgate elbowing Joe Linton in the back. You know, so Joe Linton had a good right to have a scuffle with him because at the end of the day you know the referee wasn't doing anything there was elbows being flung into the back of the heads of uh, players you know and there was nothing being done about it so you know it felt very one-sided it felt as though like Lee Mason and Craig Pawson and these officials you know all wanted Everton to win that game and you know the FA seemed as well like they wanted Everton to win that game now some people might say, you know, it's a conspiracy, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, it's not a conspiracy if it's true. You know, look at the game against Man United. Yes, we might have made some errors, but look at the way, you know, Man United won that game. McTominay should have been saying red, you know, for pulling on Al Mirren. He'd already seen a yellow card, yet he didn't get sent off. Look at the game today, you know. There should have been a sending off for Michael Keane. There was a couple of other chances where there should have been sendings off for the Everton players. You know, Newcastle haven't had a red card against an opposing team in a flipping long time. You know, that is 
getting beyond a joke. That's the point where you start to think, you know, what's going on? Is the FA deliberately screwing Newcastle over? And then you look at the summer, you know, when we had the takeover chance with the BZG. The papers were submitted to the headquarters of the FA. They said that something was in the running and then all of a sudden everything is completely and utterly forgotten. You know, oh no, BZG didn't send no papers. You can't do what the FA is doing. You know, and clearly the FA just don't want Newcastle United to be back uh, like we were in the 90s, you know, like we were in the 50s. They just don't want that because that would ruin the Premier League for them. You know, because they've always hated Newcastle. Let's face it, you know, they, they helped Manchester United back in the 90s. You know, they helped Man U back in the 90s. They helped Ferguson back in the 90s with Man U. You just have to look at the way things have went on. You know, with Newcastle over the years, look at how Eric Cantona just somehow managed to come back in time to play against Newcastle when he should have 100% been banned from football for kicking the fan. You know, it's getting beyond a joke now and I'm starting to get absolutely fucking fed up with it because Newcastle fans get the Royal screw job every time we're the most loyal supported fans in all of the world of football. You know, there's no fans that'll go to a championship game and sell out 52,000 down in the championship you know would you see Manchester United doing that would you see Man City doing that would you see Chelsea you know Liverpool would you see any of the top six plastic clubs you know going in supporting their team 52,000 down in the championship no you fucking wouldn't because it's only Newcastle United fans you know that do this and you, we are absolutely getting the royal screw every time. And again today it's been proven, you know, with the way the refereeing decisions were. The refs were walking around the pitch. Lee Mason was walking around the pitch. He was laughing and carrying on with the players of Everton. You know, that's something that you shouldn't do. You're professional. You should stick to your game. You shouldn't be laughing and carrying on with players. You should do your job like a professional. You're getting paid to do it. You know, at the end of the day, do the job properly or just don't do it at all. You know, and you've got, like, for instance, Lee Mason, he's from Manchester, you know, he says he supports a lot of league team. No, he supports one of the Manchester lot, you know, and it's the same for Andrea Mariner. Mike Dean supports Tottenham, you know, these referees are well-established referees in the Premier League. They blatantly tell the FA that they support lower league teams so that they can referee the games for their teams that they support. We all know Mike Dean supports Tottenham. We all know Lee Mason supports one of the Manchester lot. You know, there's so much absolute corruption in the Premier League that it needs to be sorted. Something needs to be done. We've got four in the Premier League, you know, and it's not being worked properly. It's not being used the right way. And at one point now, it's even being called Liverpool because it's actually helping Liverpool to be top of the league. Look at how many uh, things that have went in Liverpool's favour on VAR. You know, it's absolutely beyond a joke. But today's game was an absolute shit fest. You know, it was so many errors by uh, Lee Mason and his officials. You know, they ought to feel absolutely ashamed with themselves. Sorry if I went on uh, off topic uh, on this video, but... You know, I have to get out there. I am absolutely livid with the way uh, this game's went today, with the way all of the decisions have went for Newcastle this season. You know, we haven't had a red card in a long time uh, against an opposing team. A very, very long time. You know, I think it was um, Norwich City was the last one. Uh, I think that was about five years ago. Correct us if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Uh, but... You know, it's just one of them games. Hopefully we'll have a much better game against Leicester uh, in the new year. And I'll see you all next time. Remember, like, share, subscribe and how well the lads.